cool. So we're back. We've got a little bit of uh, reverb added to the vocal. We've got some compression on the vocal, not too much, just smoothing out the transients a little bit. And that's particularly on this third vocal phrase, uh, there's some transients that we want to fine tune a little bit more, and we actually want to use volume automation to do that. And it's a great chance to uh, show you all how much better the resolution, resolution is um, in Pro Tools 9 over Yukon than we previously had with Huey. Specifically, we used to have 512 steps um, from the bottom of a fader to the top of a fader that would track in Pro Tools when you were writing automation. And now we have full 10-bit resolution, so there's actually 1,024 little steps from the top of a fader to the bottom of a fader um, that Pro Tools is tracking when you're writing automation. So it's much more accurate than ever before. And 10-bit resolution is the same as you'll see on control surfaces and digital mixing consoles that cost lots more money. And if I wanted to say uh, use touch or latch mode, which by the way are both somewhat irrelevant if you do not have a touch sensitive control surface. Um, in this case, I'll use latch because when I let go of the fader, I want it to stay where I leave it. Um, the first thing you want to do is actually put that track into latch mode. So I'm on my edit window now in Pro Tools, and we'll go ahead and I've got my cursor selected on the vocal track, so I wanted to show you guys a couple cool features real fast in the jog wheel. Some of the uh, custom jog wheel modes we've already created, such as zoom in horizontally and also zooming in vertically. So once again, this is another mouse event only thing, something you can only do with your mouse if you, if you just have the you know, standard keyboard and mouse configuration. Um, and we can obviously do that with our jog wheel right here. So we can blow that right up. And there's another cool thing that is, Pro Tools is always done in conjunctions with its control surfaces, or it's done for a long time. And we have the standard shift, control, option, and command keyboard modifiers programmed to these buttons right here. So if I hold down both of them and simply touch this fader, since it's touch sensitive, it'll switch to the volume view as opposed to just looking at the waveform.